Zweetieans, welcome back to Zweetieville. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Zweetieville. I am Zweetie Pie, and today we are back with a new mod with me since we have a new Sims 4 pack that has come out today, which is The Sims 4 Tiny Living. Then I thought the first video I should get out for you is a mods with me folder. So since I am trying to keep up on that, I figured that would get you up and in your game faster, right? So let's get started. Um, also today there will be no face cam on this mods with me because just really not in that mood today so i'm sorry y'all um also i have on my screen here as you'll see is i got the sims 4 up and i have already installed the sims 4 tiny living so time to get started on everything else we need so you're going to go to your documents here let me just redo this folder up i'm sorry your pc documents electronic arts the Sims 4 and mods so we have our mods folder up in this mods folder um, there are going to be quite a few changes today if you have been out of the Sims community a little bit or haven't been quite paying attention there has been a lot of changes over the past 60 days so we'll be going over that today for the speed of today's video as well I have already downloaded everything that will need to be changed in my mods folder right now that we have been over um so for the speed of that i do already have all of that ready to go and everything we just have to make the folders when we put it in so that is good there so the first thing we are going to get started in this mods with me is uh refixing some of these stuff so we got the ui cheats extension mod um, so let's go to our downloads. Uh, do, 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 UI cheats extension. All right. And because I like my folders side by side, why I am doing this, just because it helps with the ease of moving things around. Let me play with these a second here. There we go. One kind of up, one kind of down. So I can grab them. All right, so put this here. We're gonna move you over here. We are gonna go that, hold down shift. That will hold those up so you can right click on it and delete them both at the same time. Then we're gonna click here and then right click, extract all. We're extracting right here and extract. And then we have that, which we have to grab these and move them forward because that puts them a folder deeper than needed. Or we can just pull that out. Well, crap. I still kind of messed that up, didn't I? Yep, I did. I did. Well, let's fix that. Let's go back to the old mode and not try to do this... Um, a lot easier mode or at least I thought I was doing a lot easier mode so rename control C new folder control V just stick with the old method it doesn't do any stuff in your head confusion so we are going to delete that bad boy so we have this here we are going extract Boom, boom. Then do, 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 documents. Then this first folder here, we are just going to pull over into our mods. There we go, and we have it end of story so much easier go back to downloads all right so that is by weber sims i believe is the uh, name of him let me pull this up here i have all this stuff all over my thing so you're probably seeing the screens go bunker wonkers here yep he is right here I will link his website down below here, but you'll just scroll down, and he hasn't made any adjustments to the cast, 
but he did the UI extensions because there were some changes in that. So there will be him. Let me pull him. We'll, we'll just leave him down. We'll just leave him down. All right. Then if you have the King's Classic icons, you will need to do those as well. So rename, control C, new folder, control V, and put you in there, and then extract. Boom. And we got classic guy up cuts. So he's under here. King's mod. Classic icons. Delete that one. Go in here. And you're only gonna need one of these. I just use the regular one here. Just because I like all the old stuff. And if you don't like them, then you don't have to worry about them. And you could just skip this part and less work for you. So Kawaii Stacy also has quite a bit of changes. Um, let's go over the changes here real quick. Um, as you can see, I have my Discord up, and I do highly suggest that you go to Deaderpool on his Discord here. They will keep you up to date and under announcements. Um, they have updated MCC Command Center to 6.6.3 with the Sense 4 version 1.60.54, which was January's 16th patch. So, if you do not have this version of MCC, you will need to go to Deadpool's um, website, which I have that for you as well. It looks like this, y'all and you will need to get the mc command center if you would like the woohoo aspiration and everything with it you'll need to click the extra mc woohoo 6.6.3 as well um i had the 6.6.0 so unfortunately this is out of date so and it does tell you in here what you need to have so i should have updated to this one on December 12th, 2019 with the university release, but um, it didn't really affect my game any. I didn't have any issues, so I, I didn't notice it needed to change. So, yeah, I should have updated this last month, but we're getting it this month. So, you'll just hit these downloads and you'll put them in. So, I'll put him down below so I don't forget to link him. Um, but they'll tell you that here and everything else. And then if you go into Mod News on their Discord server... Um, you will find like one of these in which it'll give you this lovely little Sense 4 webpage here that literally has listed and you can see I've been reading here so let me go back to page one for you um, a list of everything that is broken so we have Kawaii Stacy's events with slice of life mod the custom wrench icon um, mod constructor 4 um, you have some Scarlet things, the Ken Stigs, Shram 92 stuff, Cirilla Sims, Nisa, Cloud Sharon, um, Party Anywhere by Weber Sims, um, UI extensions. Um, you can see all of them here. Um, all of the mods by Kira Sims. Um, individual event mods and event bundles by Kwai Stacy except university of it are no longer supported um and then the slice of life and then there is a huge listing of little miss sams so i'm not going to read them all you just click and uh, there's all of those and then um she also lists that um the shower thing which i was playing a bit ago and i didn't realize it was a glitch that their hygiene didn't fill up when they were showering in the shower bath combos because they added the mud bath and all that to stuff and it messed things up so in order to fix it sims just took the option away from us again so you know it's fixed now but if you don't want that then you can download little miss sams and it will give you the mud baths and fix their hygiene so yeah then there were some updates by polar bear sims then there were some that needed by beach which are all listed as well um, so I love this because 
I can just scroll through and be like, oh, I got that, oop, I got that, oop, I got that, and I know just go and fix it really quick. And I don't really have to load my game and go, oh my gosh, what is happening? Um, if you do get the new Sims 4 Tiny Living, you may want the No Murphy Bed Death um, from Isamon. She has created it, which is new and stuff, um, because I have heard that they are dying quite quickly from the Murphy Bed. Um, James Turner, his Sim, died one time, and then Deligracy pulled her bed down but didn't put it back up, so we don't know if her Sim died, so... <laughs> You know, um, I've heard a lot about them dying very easy and very quickly from the Murphy bed, so that might be something you need. But I'll list this down below for you, but I do recommend going to Deadpool. They do a really great job, and then you can put your last exceptions in here on this tab if you're having issues, and they will help you out as well. So... And if anything is broken, you can kill like a mod tracker. So I use this for that. And that's how I came up with this list for today. So um, I went through a lot of Little Miss Sam stuff as well. And noticed that I am um, she's done quite a bit of updates over the end of the year. So I went ahead and got most of those as well. As you can see, most of mine is um, we got the UI cheat extension. We got the king icon. Um, the only one of her... Stacy's events that I used that got affected is the pool party event. Then I downloaded all my Little Miss Sam mods that I like. Um, some of them had to update, some didn't, but I went ahead and re-downloaded all of them so I can refresh. And then MC Command Center and Scripts. So, yeah. Not a ton, but enough. So, let's get these uh, bad boys put in here. So, we need MC Command Center... Let's see here, extract all, just extract right here, and extract all, just extract right here, and you'll be down here, yep, and then I won't need you anymore, and I won't need you anymore, and we'll just grab you two. And pull you over into the mods folder. Yep, down you go. And we got the UI cheat extension. So we are good there. We got the classic king icons. Um, do, 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 do. All right. Did I pull that folder out? Yep, I did. Okay, because I wanted to put it in here. I like to have all my CC creators by name. And then let's throw Kawaii Stacy in here now. There she goes. Rename. There we are. Now it'll fall in line here. Then all I need to do is here extract boom the pool party one we need to delete and pool party yep and then the explorer mod i gotta take out because i have the other one and they just clash with each other it's not that she has anything wrong with her stuff so um so we have this one, we got that one, we got that one, and we got these. So bye bye. Then Scarlet Mods, I want to throw her in here. And then Isamon Mods, I want to throw her in here. Rename. CC and then Scarlet. Where'd you go? There we are. Rename. CC. Alright, there we go. Makes me feel better. They're all in here. And that's cleaned up. And then I need a new folder. And we're going to call it Little. 
Miss Sam underscore CC because she's got a lot coming in. All right. So all you got to do is extract all here. And I'm going to go through and do this real quick. And as I do, we can see what I have. I have the Where Are You, uh, Movies Be Quiet, Ultrasound Mod, Train Your Puppies, Spin Weekend with, Social Activities, um, Go for a Quick Walk with the Dog, um, Parenting Skills for Teens, Online Learning System, Online Gaming with Headsets, no restaurant bill when you are invited. No puddles from the bath from the toddlers. That's annoying. No auto grab food after cooking. Annoying. More holiday icons because we need more. The market stall mod which allows toddlers to order from the market stall mods so they don't starve. Live-in services so you can have those. Um, kids can order from the espresso bar so they don't starve. Kids can go for a walk with dogs because it's usually their pet anyway um, go for a walk fills up the needs of your pets and go for a walk with more than one pet at a time which is a rabbit hole and go for a walk with the cat because we want to walk with the cat and then just uh, go for a walk instead of go for a dog and then we got first love because you know who doesn't want to try that one then the food delivery because we're always lazy sometimes whoa 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 And then the better a nanny mod, um, a dog walker mod, the better butler mod, better autonomous homework, which um, I haven't tried this one yet, so I'm just trying it. Um, the babysitter mod, um, ask to upgrade, so if you have like the butler and stuff, they can do all that, which sounds like it should have already been in the game. Ask to go for a walk and more, so if you have like the butler, you can have them take you on a walk. Ask to cook, bake, grill, whatever you want, just the butler thing to do that. Advanced birth certificates, so I can have birth certificates the way I want them. Spend the weekend with mod for my families who aren't real families. And no restaurant bill when invited, I already did that one. Don't know. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Yep, I got this one twice. That's why. Alright, so now that we have them, we can just click here scroll down they'll all be highlighted and then we can move all 33 mods straight over into here and boom we are done and good right we completed yup 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 okay and then that will be good there and then i do have some older stuff in here which um, not sure I'm going to put in now. I think I'm thinking against it, yeah. Oh, I need these. Wait a minute, I forgot those. Oh, custom content by creators. Um, we'll just put them under woman's clothes. We have the bride chester jacket and the foxberry shirt because, yeah. We need those for university. And I'll just shove them under the women's clothing because, like, everything goes under women's clothing. They always have women's stuff, like, right? And then we got all of these, so you can just go here, here, highlight them all again, and delete them because, bye bye, we already did you. And then, ta da! So that is fixed. And then the other thing we are going to go over is reshade because there is an update of reshade so if you use reshade you're going to want to update that um i will also leave a list here for you before i go on real quick sorry 
um, of this little Miss Sam's mod page, which has every single one of her mods listed here. So you can click one and it will take you to them. So it has all 166 working mods in her um, stuff. So I always keep to this page for me. So I'll make sure to link that for you down below the video. All right, so we have all the Sims 4 stuff and all of that. And since we are changing everything, we are going to delete this local thumbnail file here. Don't be scared. It's okay. It will come back. And then we are going to run reshade. So, um, hello? Where did I put my reshade page? I think I actually tagged it down. Okay, no, here it is. All right, so this is Reshade, which is reshade.me, and you go here and it will change your um, colorings and stuff. Tells you all about it, blah, blah, blah. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and there is a Reshade 4.5.3. So I'm going to click download that, and we're going to click save as. And it'll go in downloads and da da da. All right, then we're gonna run it. Reshade is safe. Well, thank you very much, computer. And are you running? Yep. Select a game or application to manage its reshade installation. So we're gonna click here. We are going to click a Browse, and then you are going to go to the drive where you ha <coughs> have yours. Most people have them on their C drive. I do have mine set up differently because I have a one terabyte D drive, so I have all mine on my D drive. So we're going to go to D drive, then you're going to go to Program Files 86, then you're going to go to Origin Games, D Sims 4. Then you're going to go to the game folder, to the bin folder, and then you're going to click your TS4, and I run 64-bit. If you run 32-bit, click 32, and we're going to click open. And then you need to click direct 3D9 here, and it'll say it found an existing. What do I want to do? I want to update. So if you want to uninstall, this is why you do it. So we're going to update. I always click all of this. So yeah, and all of that. And reshade installation was successful. Edit reshade sections, blah, blah, blah. So we can click here. And this is the path program. If I want to do all this, if I want to change anything, um, screenshots are not going to go here. So let's change where the screenshots are going because I don't want them there. I want them to go to pictures. No, where did I have them going? Ah. We'll just have them go to pictures here and screenshots. I thought I already had that folder, but maybe not. And we'll go here and select that folder. So that's where all my pictures will go. And these were all the feds, blah, 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 blah. And click OK. And we already did that. Yep, so you can just exit off. We are all good. I will leave this down below for you as well if you would like to do this. So the next thing you have to do is open up your computer. Then you're going to do the exact same thing and you're going to open your files and then I'll head this drive D, program files 86, origin games, sims 4, 
game thin and this is it so if you have any reshade selections they are going to go here on this page here as you can see i have quite a bit so i'm going to take a hot moment here and clean them up so i'm going to go here to here i want to get rid of all these and i'm going to get rid of these and i'm going to get rid of these And then I want a, a new folder. No, I don't. I don't want it on my computer. I want it to go on my external drive here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I thought I had one. Get out. Here. No. Okay. Well. I'll just make it. Okay. Three shade files. There we go. Over here. So currently, the only one I ever use is Harry's Light Brigade. I don't really do any of the other ones, but I do want to keep them just in case. I, for some reason, want to put them back in. So, I'm going to delete them out. And here, I'm going to delete all of these just so it runs a little faster. And I'm going to delete those. So, I'm leaving in the Harry Light Brigade as of right now. And that is it. So if you have any that you find that you want to put in, you just literally take the file, drop it in here, and voila, it will show up. But I don't want them all in here right now, so we are going to do that. And now reshade is done. Voila! Okay, so let's go ahead and load up and make sure everything works. So fingers crossed, we are going to go. And, oh, all right, so it doesn't like something, fine, what did you not like? Let's take you out. And see if it's something new I put in because I've been launching all day up to this folder. So we will find out. Yep, it is something in there we did. Alright, so you'll see the reshade comes up, all that great stuff is up there. It might slow down your computer a little bit depending on what type of computer you have. So if it freezes for a minute or it says not responding, just give it a moment, it will catch up with itself because it does all the effects and compiles everything. So, something I have done doesn't like me. Hmm, imagine that. Every time it says it works with it, it does not always. So, we're going to exit for a minute. 
Bye bye. Okay, we'll you in a minute. Okay. Documents, Electronic Arts, The Sims 4, and okay, so here's our new mods folder, here's our old one. So, da 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 and you're just gonna do the half and half model. This is where it's quite fun. And all right, so we're good, we're good. Let's play and find out. Do you like me now? Yep, you like all them. So wasn't any of that that we changed, which I just put in two jackets. I didn't think that would be. So we let this bad boy load up again. Do, 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 do. Sorry, very intriguing song in my head. I wonder what it is. <laughs> okay. Um. Da -da -da -da. I don't want all the tips. I just want you to get to my main screen. All right. So it recognizes all of my mods and says they are good. All right. Thank you. That's what I need to know right now. All right. So, now, we are going to take this, and in here is where I moved some of those files. So, let's see if it was any of these problems. Alright, let's find out. Was you a little mishap? Yes, you were. All right, so it is in here for some reason. Let's see. And then I didn't change these two here, so we're gonna put those in. And I didn't change my noodles, so we'll put that in or the more cast column did not change. So we're gonna put that one in with that. And we'll see if any of those are malfunctioning it. Let's find out. Nope, we're running, yay! Okay, so we're good there. Do, 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 do. So out of all of my old uh, mods with me, there are, um, see it says not responding up in the corner, but it will go away. Just give it a second. Just loading effects. Um, there are two mods that I have recommended that I have just taken out of my game today um, because I realized with updates and everything like that, they are no longer functioning. So just so you guys are aware. We will go over those as well. All right, those are working, so let's exit that. And it was the um, random aspiration mod. That is no longer working with the new update. Um, and then um, the Teen Moon darker launching screen. It won't work with that. So I have Team Moon's other darker launchers and the purple screen, but that's it. Um, okay, so doo -doo, I need this one here. Thank you. All right, so we are going to try UI Cheats next. Let's see if he'll crash me. Let's go. Nope. Okay. It's probably that little Miss Sam folder that I did almost guarantee it something in there is um probably not up to snuff with it but i'm not gonna sit here and like give you the longest boringest video of your day with me going through all what 33 of little miss sam's like doing this half modular Ugh, it could take a hot minute but it is the best way to do it um once you've updated everything they say is updated if you still have any further issues this is what you do have to do is the half and half mode 
and you might find something bizarre. And sometimes I'll give the creator a little nudge and be like, hey, I crashed, I can't work with your blah 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 mod. And they'll be like, oh, I didn't notice that. I'll fix it. Um, and they'll fix it. And it's not a big deal. Alright, so we're good here. Alright, and then we're going to do the MC Woohoo and MC Command Center. Let's put those in. Yep, those are in, and we should be all good. One last launch. Yep, so it is with that, so I'm not going to bore you through that. I'll go through them individually, and um, we'll probably leave it down below in this video what it was that wouldn't work in case you guys redo all of it as well with me, then you will know which one it does it. Um, because, you know, it could make the video quite long, so I really don't want to sit there and, uh, have you guys sit with me while I play this half and half game, but that is how you would update for today's tiny live-in expansion. So that brings us all up to date on everything. Um, reshade is caught up everything is caught up everything is great so i hope you guys have enjoyed this mod with me and um i can't wait till the next one so until next time all my sweetians out there have a sweetie delicious day bye guys <laughs>